Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna install this thing. That's right, LED spotlight. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just got finished at the auto parts store. Picked up some of that stuff. I was told that the Meguiar's Scratch X there is actually really good uh, on removing scratches on plastic, so I'm gonna test that out. And then uh, got a little electrical connector kit so that I can install the new LED spotlight. Oh, yeah. Okay. Since only one of my vehicles has a spotlight, I guess it's going on the Impala. Yeah, hopefully, uh, the video doesn't turn out too wonky and weird with the sound. I notice sometimes with the uh, GoPro, the sound gets a little strange, but uh, pulled in the Impala. So the first thing that I'm gonna need to do is take the spotlight and put it in a position where I can get to that mounting bolt. As you can see, it's kind of a really uh, small like uh, Allen key type bolt so definitely have to have the right tool to get that thing off or it's gonna be a little bit of a pain hopefully you guys can see from that angle as you can see I have a really tiny one here now when you go to take this off the ring twists and then lifts off. So you take the little bolt out and then twist and lift off the outer ring. And that gives you access to the actual uh, light housing itself. Um, what you'll want to be aware of is that there's three of these little foam pads kind of on the side here. I don't know how well you can see those, but there's three of them. There's one, two, and then on the bottom, there's the third one. So you want to be careful when you're taking those off. Um, as you can see, there's a couple of, I guess a couple of wires here holding this bad boy on. So let's see if I can go ahead and bring this down a little bit. Oh, all right. So actually, lucky for me, this uh, wire just popped off. It was actually attached to this thing. So I guess it wasn't really on there real well, but Basically, it was supposed to be kind of on that fitting all the way. I guess it popped off. And then this piece can also come off that's attached down there. So, yeah, make that look really easy. Normally, it doesn't come off that happily. Um, I'll go ahead and just take this one and probably just set it over here. Now, what I've done to save a little bit of time, if you remember, on the back of this, there are basically two little, uh, two little bolts on the back. And as you can see over here, you've got no bolts, you've just got a, a wire that's attached directly to the lamp itself and then the piece that slides on here. And then of course you got the red wire that attaches to the car that's hooked to that white. So I took some wire, some wire cutters and snipped right here on an older one that I have. As you can see, this is the original spotlight that was on the car. So I took that one off and just kind of snipped it for ease. And then the other thing I did to kind of make this, uh, I guess, revertible back to the way it was is I'm going to take this piece out and put it in the old spotlight just so I can keep it around in case I need it. Um, but I'm going to remove this wire and on my old spotlight I went ahead and cut this connector off and I'm going to change it out for a little o-ring connector. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, push bar. So this is that black wire. Went ahead and changed it out for the little circular adapter so that I can connect it 
right here. And then did kind of the same thing here, changed out the end here. So normally what you would do is you would just go ahead and snip and snip and just do it and be done. But I want to be able to revert my light back to a regular incandescent and I have extra parts here, so might as well do it. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and remove the uh, wire out of that light and replace it with this one. Uh, again, hopefully you guys can somewhat see to a point. As you can see, it's just uh, basically a little uh, a nut here that's attached. You just crack it loose and then uh, it'll actually allow you to take this wire off. As you can see, I went ahead and swapped it out so that I have this little circle connector here. I'm sure there's some sort of uh, proper name for it, but this will allow me to put it on that post on the back of that LED. And then I still have the ability to convert it back if I want to use the incandescent bulb again. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and install this in here so I don't lose it. I can do is actually take this and actually connect this connector take this and take it back over here and I guess we'll set you guys back over here so you hopefully you can see a little bit and if I hook this up right I think it was black to black and uh, white to gold there Hopefully when I plug this in, it doesn't blow up. Now, when you're putting this back on, I don't know how well you can see that, depending on how I move the camera, but you can literally see the word top. And that needs to be exactly opposite the base post. That way it can actually work right. And from uh, what I gather after talking to P71 guy, this is the flood version of this light. So there's two versions of this LED. There's a flood version and a spotlight version. The flood version does more of a, I guess, a brighter area, whereas the spotlight is more focused and goes a little bit longer distance. So um, if I did this right, this should work in theory. We'll see. let's see boom there's the light um, I don't know if there's a good way to kind of show this let's see maybe I'll just rotate it around that way shine it on the wall so there you go
I do notice that the uh, spotlight itself has a little bit more weight to it, so probably going to have to tighten it down a little bit better so it doesn't want to pop off or fall over, but... That's just a matter of tightening a couple bolts in the assembly. But there you go. Oh, quick note. The size Allen key that you'll need is, uh, I think it was 230 seconds. Let me take a quick look at that real quick. Oh, I'm sorry, 330 seconds. That's the size I use. I have no idea if that's actually focusing, but it says 330 seconds. And then the next size up, which is 1 8th, will allow you to tighten the bolt underneath. Um, actually, it's this bolt right here to give it a little bit uh, tighter of a movement so that it doesn't just kind of like flop over on you because this LED is a little bit heavier than the incandescent bulb. So that'll give it a little bit more friction so it doesn't flip over on you. All right, hopefully that uh, helped you guys see uh, how easy it is to change out, uh, I guess, the incandescent light to an LED. Uh, if you have the right tools, it goes pretty quick. Um, if not, you're probably going to need to buy yourself a pair of uh, like wire cutters slash crimpers and some of the connections. The little kit that I have there, uh, bought it out of AutoZone, or no, actually it was Advanced Auto Parts. Uh, the AutoZone and the Advanced are kind of like usually right around the street, you know, right around the corner from each other. Um, so I kind of confused them. But the Advanced Auto Parts that I got that out of, I think it was like 16 bucks for that entire kit. Um, which is a good kit because then if you ever do any other additional electrical work you have all these little connectors that you can use to go ahead and do that stuff so with that little kit plus the LED light you can switch it out pretty easily pretty uh, quickly and um, after you do one you could probably do a couple dozen without even thinking about it too hard anyway appreciate you guys stopping by appreciate you checking out the video um, leave a comment if you have anything constructive to say or if you just got some generalized questions that would be appreciated uh, as always, love to all of you, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. One, one Crown Victoria. Two, two Crown Victoria. Oh, fun fact, that push bumper is made by Manic, with a K.